Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video here, we'll be working guys on a Dodge Dart. So if you have a coat and airbag light on, and you have a coat guys, such as B27671313, 276713, stay with us and we'll explain what causes that coat and how to fix it. Quick introduction guys, every car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 videos, including this generation Dodge Dart. Why? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you need to buy any of the diagnostic tools that we use, any car parts, tools like that guys, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can get all that for a super good price. Now, when working on the airbag system guys, it's extremely dangerous. Okay, airbags can kill you and they can kill your passengers. So. If you're not qualified and certified, I will not uh, recommend to work on the airbag system, guys, because it's very dangerous, so consider this entertaining video. Now, we will explain how to scan the system, but every time you disconnect, reconnect airbags, you have to have the car battery disconnected for at least one hour. That way you can minimize the risk of something terribly bad happening, but it's still there, guys, so be careful. Now, we have a Dodge Dart, okay, this is a 2015 Dodge Dart, it doesn't matter if you have a GT, not GT guys, it's the same procedure, the GT only has the different dash, but really doesn't matter so much, but let me show you now, when I start the car, okay, when I start the car, we get that uh, airbag light on, so even when I turn the ignition on, okay, you're going to notice that we will have the airbag light on, okay, one second it first tells us, that the uh, door is open and ignition is on service tire pressure monitor system that uh, we had guys one of the one of the sensors is actually bad in the tp uh, the tpms sensors is one of the tires so with that being said okay you can see the airbag light okay just okay stays on all the time okay you can see the one right here it is on guys right there and it doesn't turn off if you start the car or turn the ignition on it should go on okay you can see service airbag and then it should turn itself off after a couple of seconds but ours okay ours just stays on all the time why well, like that because we have a fault guys how we're going to diagnose that we're going to get an obd scanner okay this is amazing scanner and we'll have the link in the description of the video below uh, if you're on the market for a good scanner guys okay definitely consider this one i think it's definitely worth the money connect it to the obd port of your dodge dart have the ignition on and this scanner guys actually works on any car not just dodge guys okay check out how many makes and models that thing supports it's uh, it's simply simply amazing so you can see uh, all the all the makes and models that it supports okay right here so definitely worth the investment it's kind of like a dealer level equipment okay uh, without the programming so Right now guys, let me show you what we're going to do. We'll click VIN, auto detect, it's going to read the VIN number and it's going to tell us, okay, it's going to tell us um, which vehicle we have and what's the VIN number, it will decode it so it can do the selection on its own instead of us selecting guys, okay, what it is. So, you can see, it's thinking now, it will take a little bit of time, diagnostics, control unit, We'll select body, airbag occupant sensor, and we're going to click read codes, and the code that we have now, check it out, we actually have two codes, but the first one exclude this one, guys. This is just for low battery voltage. The second one is B276713, this one says active at the moment, active at the moment, so it says left impact pressure sensor circuit open. What that means guys, I'll go ahead turn the ignition off, now I'll recommend to go ahead disconnect your car battery and for at least one hour and we'll continue. So, we guys have the door panel removed, if you want to see how to remove the door panel on your car, check it out, we have the video on the channel, it explains everything from start to finish guys, very good video. So, right here now, okay, that sensor, it's, that's the uh, left front impact uh, pressure sensor guys, the crash sensor right here. So if you replace the window mode or regulator or something like that guys, a window regulator or front or, uh, window, this one most likely was uh, disconnecting and as a result it's either not plugged in all the way, okay, and it got loose from hitting in a bump or you have a faulty sensor, those are the two possibilities, or the wiring harness somewhere is damaged. It could be even sometimes where the door, okay, opens and closes, but that's a very, very minimum 
uh, <coughs> chance for something like that happening. Always check the connection. Most likely, guys, it's loose connection or a faulty sensor. Uh, when you reconnect it, you always have to make sure that you push it all the way in until you hear a click. Listen now. And close the red thing all the way as well. Okay, that way it cannot get loose when you hit a bump or something like that. We'll go ahead and reconnect the car battery and we'll see if the cold will go away. So car battery has been reconnected. I'm turning the ignition on now. Okay, the ignition is on. So check out the airbag light now, guys. Okay. It's go, it, it turned itself off. Okay, it's ready. You can see airbag light is not there. However, I'll get the computer quick and I want to show you something. If we go ahead and we read the codes again, we will have the code stored in the computer, but it will say pending. Okay, right here. So you can see airbag light is not on. Code is still says pending or stored. And now if you click erase codes, yes, check it out now. Codes have been successfully erased. If we read the codes now, we will have no fault codes detected and no airbag light on. So that definitely took care of our problem. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.